Hi, you guys. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> and today I started work early, right? I heard on the radio, beat the bank. Beat the bank for $10,000. <laughs> and I always call, right? I call, call, call. Never rings. It rang, right? It rang. And I'm like, am I in? <laughs> he said, yeah. Oh, my God. It was so stressful. I swore a lot. I did. I did. Right? But I couldn't help it because I was under the gun. Right? I was under the gun. It felt like. At first, the guy said, once you say start the clock, we can't help you. We can't talk to you at all. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like pressure. Right? I'm all alone. <laughs> so that thing started. Yes, it did. First, it was like $300. I'm like, oh. Then it went 320 Sometimes it jumps up to 1000 right? But it went 320 Then it went 330 I'm like, $10. $10. So then it went 340 I'm like, it's screwing with me. It's screwing with me. <laughs> so it went to $400. And I said, whoa, cut it, right? Like, stop that clock. The guy says, okay, now we're going to see how high it's going to go. I'm like, you know, really? Why don't you just turn that tourniquet, honey? Turn that tourniquet tighter. <laughs> but the very next one, blew. it blew. Boom, right? So $400 was the perfect friggin' game player. I said, mama needs groceries, mama needs groceries. <laughs> I did say Jesus a lot, right? I was like, Jesus, Jesus, it was very stressful. Then I said, so how am I gonna get that money? Where are you people? He goes, you don't care about us, you just care about the money? I'm like, I can't lie, honey, yes, I'm just, I, I just care about the money. <laughs> he goes, how do you feel with $400 in your pocket? I go, I feel a lot better if it was 4,000, but I'll take 400. <laughs> Get this, I went to pick up this lady, right? And this street that she lives on, there was no street. It was completely ripped up, gone, right? Big diggers, like machines that are digging, dump trucks. So I pull up, I'm like, I gotta get in there. He's like, what number? I'm like, probably the one right in front of that, right? He goes, don't worry, we'll get you in. They had to remove the digger. They had to remove the dump truck. They had to fill the area, right, for me to get through. I'm coming in there like a landmine, right? I got in. I got in. So after I get the lady boarded, right, and there's all those cones, right? And you know, the other day when I was dropping someone off, I was on the middle of a road, and cars were coming so super fast, it stressed me out, right, because I don't want us to get hit. Especially I can see it coming. I told the guy, if we go, we're going together, right, because we can see the headlights coming right in our face. I said to those wonderful construction people who are my favorite people in the world, I said, I need one of these. <laughs> the man gave me a cone. I got a cone. I got my own cone. So when I stop to get someone now in the dark, in the night, whatever, cone's out, cone's out. This is the best day ever. Keep going because you never know when $400 is going to fall from the sky or when you're going to drive through a landmine and come up with one of these. <laughs> You know what? Things only happen to me. They only happen to me, right? Nothing can just go smooth. So I go pick up my lady, bless her heart, because she was at a funeral. It's a small street again, right? So it's fine. I park. It's all uneven because, you know, churches are older, right? So I try to get it good enough. I lower the ramp. And there's all these people outside. Not my lady yet, right? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get everything ready and then get her on the bus. As I lower the ramp, a wasp goes into the bus. Yep, yep. And I go, oh God. <laughs> I said, there's a wasp in the bus and there's all these people, right? But you know, they're grieving, they're grieving. And I'm like, but I'm allergic, I'm allergic. Nobody's moving, right? Nobody's moving. The priest comes. <laughs> the priest himself comes on the bus. So he looks around he's like, I don't see it. I'm like, oh no, it's here, it's here, right? Like, it came in through the ramp because it probably flew out. I'm like, no, it didn't, right? I, it was so quick. It's in. It's still in, right? It's still in. <laughs> anyway, he said it wasn't in here. So I said, look, at, you better bless this bus before you get off. I said, because if not, I don't want to see you at an event next week in my honor. <laughs> anyway, then I get the lady on the bus. God love her, right? With her two workers. And I said, look, we're going to have to go and, you know, stop down the road so we can check because there's a wasp on the bus, whatever. So we looked. The girl said, do you got an EpiPen? I said, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I looked in my bag. No, I do not. Of course, I cleaned my bag out. And I must have left it on the counter. But I'm going home right now to get it. <laughs> Can't win. Can't win. Yes, you can. You can win $400 on Pizza Bank. Woohoo! <laughs> 
Listen, I will that money if something happens to me. I will that money to Michelle LaViolette, my best friend. I will that to you, honey. Not gonna need it, right? Gonna go get that EpiPen. Burn the bus down. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great day.